Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is October 8, 2024. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I have a word here for you, and I want to get this to you. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and pray this in. Make sure we do it right. Make sure we honor him first, and that is God Almighty. Yes, God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Lord, thank you for who you are. God Almighty, the Father, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, thank you for being the Blessed Trinity. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for just being that awesome God. You are truly to be praised. You are truly to be honored. And we put you first in all things. Praise you, worship you, love you, adore you. Hallowed be thy name. Praise you, praise you, praise you. You get all the praise. You get all the glory. You get everything. Lord, I ask that your word comes through. Lord, I ask that everything you want to say comes through that um, we are open to what you want us to hear, put into our lives, apply it in our lives today, and just bring it forth, you know, and, and put it in our lives, and just that we can apply it, and we can receive it, apply it, and bring fruit from it. Yeah, so we display you to the whole world. We honor you, we love you, and we just wanna do your will for your kingdom and your power and your glory in Jesus' name. All right. All right, here we go. So I got this word for you, and it's really good. This word I heard him tell me on September 25, 2024, and he actually gave me this title, and he said, you are a city set on a hill. So there's a hint, huh? This is cool. All right, and here's the word. And so if anybody didn't know, if, if y'all need to know, I get all my words from Father God. Um, he loves to give them to me randomly at times, sometimes in the mornings, and, and just sometimes when I'm strolling around, you know, doing my work, you know, or, or doing something that I'm doing throughout the day, and it'll just, it'll just like, I'll be thinking of him sometimes, and it'll just hit me, and he'll give me these words, you know, and it's really beautiful. Some are really beautiful. Some are stern. Just depends on what's going on in the world and what he wants me to get out to everyone. Uh, I must admit, there are hard times, and there are easy times, and um, even the hard times, he still shows up. He still wants to give me these wonderful words, and you know what's funny is that even when you feel so unworthy, even when you feel like you're down and out, he still cares so much about us and he wants to talk to us and he wants to give us encouragement. And I love that about him. And I must admit, as someone hearing God's words, it does get heavy at times. And so because you're, heavy, you're, you're carrying this heaviness of the word when you hear it, and when you write it down and you go back and look at it, and you pray over it and you keep going, okay, Lord, what do you want to do? You want to get this out now or later? You know, there's a timing for all these things. And so there is a heaviness to words too, but there's also some glory to it too. And um, because we speak these things from God into existence and, and that is what he wants us to do. And he wants to get the word out to everyone. He wants us to proclaim him to everyone and he wants us to be, uh, glorifying him through the whole thing. Praise God. So this is all from the Father, and this is what I'm going to tell, this is what I'm going to give to you. So here we go. This word was called, you are a city set on a hill. This is what he said. He said, hold tight, hold on to me, your father of love and light. Do not fret, do not be down and out. Don't lose sight of me and everything I have promised you. Amen. And he said, for what was lost will be found, found with me in your sight. 
And he said, I am the light, a way that is pure and holy, precious in everyone's sight. And that reminded me of John 8, 12. Jesus is the light of the world. And that's who he's talking about, Jesus right here. He says, when you follow him, you will have the light of life. That's really cool. So look that one up. So I'm going to repeat that a little bit. He said, I am the light, a way that is pure and holy, precious in everyone's sight. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I got to give him the credit. Provision for everyone. No more will you lack. I am the provider of everything. And I'm going to repeat that. And this is what he said next. He said, provision for everyone. No more will you lack. I am the provider of everything. That's beautiful. And then he said, hear me when I say you will be strong, powerful, and full and bright. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Give me a moment. And he said, the light of the world is coming to you. You will shine bright, bright and strong. You will shine my light. I'm going to go ahead and read the next one here. He said, your display of me will be beautiful all day and all night. My way shining like the sun through you. And this does remind me of Isaiah 60 verses 1 and 2. And it talks about how... It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. And even in two, it says, His glory and brilliance will be seen on you. Let your light shine. Isn't that amazing? Amen. And this is what he said next. He said, Beautiful and bright, you will shine bright. My light will... De I'll, I'll get this right. Give me a second. Beautiful and bright, you will shine bright. My light will be displayed through you. And that does remind me of us being from Matthew 5, 14 through 16. It talks about you are the light of the world. So you are the light of Christ to the world. And it says a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men. They will see and glorify the Father in heaven. And that's what it's talking about. And then he said, beauty, beauty love, shine your light. A beautiful display of me in your life. And then he said, your father of love and light. And that's how he ended it. Isn't that beautiful? So I have uh, so much. Oh, Lord, what is it you're trying to say here? What do you want me to go and do for you here? And remember, we have to ask him in all things. This is very, very important. And I usually wait for the Holy Spirit to show up, for his presence to show up. When God's presence is just beautiful and it just changes the whole thing. And God's presence has been on me throughout the day today. And especially through this, um, just right before and right during this time of giving you this word. So I just want to be led by the Holy Spirit here a little bit. <laughs> and not a little bit, but a lot, <laughs> and just get out what he wants to be saying in this word. And so I believe we're going to repeat and speak a blessing over you from this word to you. Yeah, remember, you are a city set on a hill. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and do this. He said, I'm going to release a blessing to you. And this is what he's going to say to you. This is personally what he's going to do for you. This is personally what he's going to give you. This is personally what he wants you to do. He wants you to do all these things. And it's all backed up in the word. And he said, hold on. Hold on to me, your father of love and light. And he said, do not fret. Do not be down and out. Don't lose sight of everything I have promised you. For what was lost will be found and found with me in your sight. So you're going to find God. You're going to find Jesus. You're going to find Holy Spirit <laughs> in your sight. Amen. And then he said, okay. So this is, a, this is a blessing for you. So I release a blessing on you that what was lost will be found. So you will not be lost. You will be found. And you will find, you will find him. You will find God in your sight. 
I release that blessing to you. There you go. And then it says, I am the light, a way of the way that is pure and holy, precious in everyone's sight. And there is provision coming for everyone. So I'm going to release a blessing on you. You will receive provision from God the Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and you will and there will be no more lack on you. That's right, no more lack on you. I'm feeling this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He says, I am the provider of everything in your life. So he is the provider of everything in your life. So receive that blessing in Jesus' name, yes. And he says, hear me when I say you will be strong, powerful, full, and bright. So I'm going to release that blessing on you. And I'm going to release it. In a, and this is what he wants you to receive. And receive this blessing. You will be strong. Yes, you will be powerful. And you will be full and bright. Say, I receive that in Jesus' name. Yes. And he says, you are the light of the world. You will shine bright because God is the light of the world. It is coming to you, specifically to you. Everybody needs God in their life. So I release this blessing on you that you will shine bright. You will be bright and strong. You will shine my light. God's light. You will shine God's light. Yes, there you go. Receive it in Jesus' name. And then, and then, yes, you will display him. Yes, it will be beautiful. So go ahead and, yes, I'm going to release this to you. You will display Jesus, God the Father, Holy Spirit, and it will be beautiful. Yes, receive that in Jesus' name. I feel that, Lord. Thank you. And you will do it all day and all night. And all of God's ways will shine like the sun through you. So receive that. And I release that blessing that you will shine like the sun of God. Yes, God will shine through you. Oof. And you will be beautiful and bright. So receive that in Jesus' name. I release that to you. And then he says, you will shine bright. There it is. And my light will be displayed through you. So go ahead and say, yes, and say it, I receive it. So God says, you're going to be beautiful and bright. So say, I'm going to be beautiful and bright. And then say, I will shine bright. You will shine bright. So receive that, yes, in Jesus' name. And then say, my light and God's light will be displayed through me. Say that. God's light will be displayed through me. Yes, there you go. You activate it with your words. And then, yes, and receive that blessing. Yes, receive that. And then it says, beauty, love, shine your light and shine your life. So let's go ahead and do that. I release that blessing to you. You are beautiful. There you go. Say it. I'm beautiful. You are full of love. You are full of love. And you're going to shine your life for him. Say, I'm going to shine my life for God. And you are a beautiful display of God in your life. Say, I'm a beautiful display of God in my life. Whew. Thank you, Lord. So receive that in Jesus' name. Say, I receive that in Jesus' name. Because God is. He's your father of love and light. Praise God. All right. So that's where I was directed to go with this. This is beautiful, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are the light of the world. You are going to be set, a city set on a hill. You're going to shine bright. I do have a scripture for you. I just, I just hear that. I hear it now. Amen. All right. Here it is. This is Matthew 5, 14 through 16. And this is what it says. You are the light of Christ to the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before man in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Praise God. Praise God. This is for you. This is for you. You're a disciple. You're a follower of Christ. 
This is what you're going to display to the world. I heard him say it again. This is what you're going to do and do this. Ask to do this for him. Ask to say, Lord, I want to do this for you. I want, just say it, I want to do these things for you. I want to be a light of Christ to the world. All right, here we go. You are the light of Christ to the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Amen. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Praise God. And that's who you are. Ask him to do that. Ask him to be that. And you will do it. He will make sure of it. Praise God. Let your light shine before men. Amen because it glorifies your Father in heaven. Praise God. Imagine that. If this is glorifying your Father in heaven. It glorifies the Father. It glorifies Jesus. It glorifies the Holy Spirit. Okay, Lord, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Lord, for showing up. It glorifies God. Be that light before men. You are a light of Christ to the world. A city set on a hill. It cannot be hidden. So shine bright. Shine bright before men. Praise God for your kingdom and your power and your glory, Lord. Whew, for your kingdom, your power and your glory. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for showing up. Thank you, Lord, for bringing your word. Thank you, Lord, for just being who you are. Your awesome love, your awesomeness of just being who you are your completeness of who you are, all your love, all your grace, all your glory, all your presence showing up and just your Holy Spirit showing up and Jesus taking care of everything on the cross for us and rising on the third day. Whew. Thank you for your sacrifice, Jesus. Yes, thank you for your sacrifice. And remember, if you need to repent, just say, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. I want to serve you. I acknowledge what you did on the cross. I acknowledge what you did on the cross, Jesus. And say it with your words. I acknowledge what you did on the cross, Jesus. I repent. Forgive me. You died for my sins. So I died to sin and live for righteousness. Yes, you will die to sin and live for righteousness. Just like the word says. And I ask you into my life, Jesus. Yes, I ask you into my life, Jesus. And if you have to renew it, Say, I want you back in my life, Jesus. If I've fallen away, I want you back in my life, Jesus. Yes, and be right standing with him. Just keep repentance. Keep a repentance lifestyle going. You know if you have to repent. And just ask God, have I, have I been wrong here, Lord? Have I sinned here? And he will start showing you, and then he'll want you to repent and say, okay, forgive me, Lord, I'll repent. It's that easy. Just keep going after Jesus. Keep going after the word. Keep going after what he wants you to do in your life. And that's all you got to do. We're not perfect, but he's refining us. And the more we come to him, the more we ask him, the more we, we just get into his presence and the more we pray to him and the more that we want to do his will, it, we start lining up with what he wants, you know? And we, we put the word in our lives and we come into that, that right standing with God. And we become that repentance people, the repentance saints that we need to be to live gloriously in his sight. That's all you got to do. And keep going there. Keep going towards the prize of Christ. Keep going towards the repentance lifestyle that he has you walking. And... If he says to do something, just do it. If he says, don't do this, then walk away from it. He says there's no temptation greater than, than what you can walk away from. It's okay. Sometimes you keep repeating it. So sometimes you need to go back to him. Sometimes you need to go back there and say, I'm sorry, Lord. I did it again. Forgive me. 
Just keep going back there, keep going back there. And if you need deliverance, ask him for deliverance. If you need healing, ask him for healing. If you need anything, ask him for it. That's what he's there for. He will bless you. He will heal you. And he will restore you perfectly, beautifully, purposely, meaningfully in the kingdom that he has set up for you. You will be victorious. You will live victoriously with him. And you will become that person he's making you to be. It's an, it's an obvious thing. It's going to happen. Whether you don't think it or not, you have to believe that he wants you to be the right standing person with him. You have to believe it. You have to believe that he's going to take care of you. And he is going to take care of you in all ways. His word promises that in everything. So keep going forward. Never look back. Don't be reminded of your sin. That's the devil. And if the devil's coming up, you just tell him, get out of here, devil, in Jesus' name. And it also says you can walk away from it, flee, go the other way, in Jesus' name. And yes, you can rebuke him, you reject him, you refuse him, in Jesus' name. You look at the word and you use the word and you tell him to get out of here, in Jesus' name. That's just the way it is, you know. And keep going after Christ. Keep going after those good things. I'm just trying to encourage you guys to keep going forward because it's Keep believing. Don't lose your faith because it's really hard right now for a lot of people, especially with all the things that are going on in the world and all the trials and tests and, and the tragedies that are happening. And it's to wake everybody up. It's to get us right standing with him. It has to happen so we become what he wants us to be. It has to happen so we can become these saints that we're supposed to be in him. And I, yes, and I've been going through a refining fire also, and I've been going through a mending process also, and so have you. Just keep going forward. Don't lose sight of what he's doing in your life. And keep reminding yourself of what he's doing in the word for you. Keep reminding yourself of the words that God tells you to listen to. If he's telling you to listen to certain words, listen to those. And he will, and just ask him, hey, Lord, can you show me what you want me to hear here? Can you show me why I'm feeling this way. Can you tell me why I'm struggling so bad? And he will, he will show you. He will start giving you this comfort and he will give you this joy again. And he will, he will give you the right things to hear, the right things to read, the right things to do his, your life in him. And he will, he promises that. So don't listen to the devil. Don't listen to the naysayers. They don't know what they're talking about. It's your personal walk with him. It doesn't look like anybody else's. It's your personal walk with him, not like everybody else's. And you will make it. You will make it. I'm encouraging you guys, go forward, go forward in Jesus Christ. Don't give up, don't surrender. Always look forward, always know who you are in him and you are victorious in Jesus for his kingdom and his power and his glory, in Jesus' name. All right, I believe that's it. Thank you, Lord. So be blessed. <laughs> be blessed. Just keep going forward. Show God's love to everyone. Yeah. For his kingdom and his power and his glory, in Jesus' name. Until next time, I love you guys. Goodbye.